I would like to share this with the people in Montreal that, that are not going to have a team anymore. But my heart and my... my, my... Got the springtime blues real bad Can't help but reminisce about the great years we had I remember photo day 83 summer Yeah, I still have to pick up me, my pops and my brother I remember all-star game, five men strong All right, the question was via Twitter, well, via Twitter Who did the Expos uh, get when they traded Jeff Shaw in 1995? And uh, going through some of the answers the, the, as, as they came in uh, Mel Rojas, uh, Pierre Maguire is drunk if he thinks the Lars Eller hit was not comparable to Yemelin. Um, Jameson, the gift that keeps on coming. Uh, Mel Rojas again, Yvonne Calderon, another Calderon, Facero. John DeRosa at Derosa 17 correctly answers Jose de Leon. Jose de Leon, Jeff Shaw. You know, the Montreal Expos in 1994, I think, had three complete games total on the pitching staff. And that's because they had the bullpen of Wetland, Rojas, Shaw, and Tim Scott. And uh, Jeff Shaw later became a closer. He had closer stuff, but he was struggling in 95. And they traded in the White Sox for Jose de Leon, right-handed pitcher. So uh, we will be in touch. John, congratulations. You will be attending the 94 Expos reunion gala at the Fairmont Queen Elizabeth, which includes dinner and the whole shebang. It's going to be a great night. Now, as promised... Uh, we go to the host of Game Points here on uh, TSN 690 and also the president of ExposNation.com, which really literally got the ball rolling on all of this. Matthew Ross, how you doing? I'm great, Mitch. How you doing? Did you know the answer to that? Uh, I knew it was somebody that was overrated. That's all I remember. <laughs> Jose de Leon. <laughs> oh, we got a bunch of Melito Perez's, but Jose de Leon and John de Rosa, it would make sense that a de Rosa gets a de Leon answer. Matthew, what have you got to announce here? Well, we're very excited. Obviously, it's a great weekend. Everyone's anticipating at the end of the month. And so uh, Expos Nation is extremely excited after a lot of hard work uh, to announce that on Sunday uh, at the Chateau Champlain Marriott, we will have a rally uh, for Expos fans, uh, for baseball fans in general, that will feature uh, Felipe Alou, Marquise Grissom, Denny Boucher, Claude Raymond, Will Cordero, uh, Derek O'Quain will uh, MC it. And uh, we're expecting uh, p- potentially one or two more expos. So we're just trying to confirm. Uh, the the goal of it is to, uh, to to make some noise and enjoy it and have access to some of the players to be able to ask them questions and let the players speak to some of the fans. And uh, it should be a, should be a great day. We'll also have uh, Jonah Carey on uh, stage to speak a little bit, and he'll be signing his uh, copies of his book as well there. And uh, and Anakin Slade scheduled to perform as well. One or one or two of his expo songs, so we're we're very excited about it. And we actually just found out a few minutes ago we'll have potentially a, an award to give to somebody. Uh, somebody is asking if they can have the time to award something to someone, and we're just trying to confirm it. But very very excited. Oh well, this is great news on on several fronts. Um, uh, one of which is uh, it's a rally, and it doesn't cost anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, number two. Some people may have already planned uh, to be away uh, for two of the three days on that weekend. So those uh, who are back on either late Saturday night or early Sunday will will have a chance to see uh, some of these guys, especially Felipe, who's being honored at the dinner. And um, and it's downtown, so it's easy access for everybody. Where exactly at the at the hotel will it be? It'll, it'll be in the uh, ballroom downstairs. Uh, it, the capacity, I'm told, without seating is 1,000. So we'll be able to, to get in first come, first serve. A whole lot of fans will we'll call it for about 1130 or so. And uh, also on site, our, our major sponsor, we, we couldn't have done this without them, is KSKS, of course, of uh, TSN 690 sponsoring as well. So we're very excited about that day. And uh, we, we encourage fans to, uh, to ask questions and to uh, show up and make a lot of noise. But you know, we we don't we don't uh, we don't think they'll be able to get autographs. That's the one thing that you know people always ask about. But you know, we just the players got to get in, they got to get out. Right, as what is what happened at uh, at Jerry Park last summer, right? Everybody, once you see somebody start signing something, and the guys feel guilty, right, because they they specifically ask if they not sign because they can't possibly please everybody, and then everybody else starts signing, and they're like in a in a no win situation. 
Well, that's it. And, and for the gala, um, obviously all these players will be wearing jerseys, I'm told, and they're going to sign for charity. So it's the same situation. Everyone's going to the gala, but they're not going to be able to get uh, autographs from the players. So uh, they're, they're just going to have to have their own you know, memories in their, in their mind and maybe take some pictures. But uh, I guess uh, it's difficult for everyone to get autographs. All right. How long have you been working on this? Uh, <laughs> probably about six months. Um, it's uh, in cooperation with the Montreal Baseball Project, so we certainly couldn't have done it without their help as well. Um, a big help to from uh, Derek O'Quain uh, as well, who's been uh, instrumental behind it. And like I said, he'll he'll be the MC on stage. And so it, it, the other thing too is that we're going to have uh, you know a table at the Olympic Stadium for the Friday and Saturday games. So we expect a lot of people. So if you want to come to this thing, you're going to have to show up early. And and uh, we think that it'll be well worth it. What, what do you think generally, other than your own direct involvement in this? I, I know it's difficult to remove yourself from this equation this weekend, but what do you think generally of what's happening here this weekend? Because there's all kinds of events, side events going on. Um, uh, Jonah's going to be at the Apple Store, for example, with his book. Yeah, there, there's, there, there is constant baseball buzz that weekend. Yeah, there's, Jonah's also at McLean's on the Friday. Uh, there's a fan who's trying to organize a, a fan fest in Dorval somewhere on the Sunday at like 3.30. So there's a lot of different stuff happening. It is difficult to remove yourself from it, but at the same time, when you look at things objectively, it's, it's a whole lot of momentum and a whole lot of action uh, by people in this city uh, behind the scenes and obviously in, in front of the scenes as well. And it really is an indication that baseball's missed. You know, people just think of 5,000 people, 2,000 people at the end of the, the Expos era. But at that point, you know, the, the fans were, were you know, uh, abused a little too much to be able to uh, still go to the games, and many of them anyway. And the baseball, uh, the Montreal Baseball Project got a boost today. WestJet is on board, pardon the pun, but uh, they have announced that they are going to uh... – uh, piggyback with the Montreal Baseball Project and get involved as a uh, as a major sponsor. Oh, that's fantastic! If there's one thing that really helps bring in players, it's it's you know uh, an airline. So that's I couldn't couldn't be happier to hear that. That's fantastic. And as you know, uh, TSN is actually in town right now, uh, working on an in depth piece that Michael Farber will be uh, uh, basically the front man for, um, and which will air on TSN the weekend that the Jays and the Mets are here. Yeah, I, I'm very excited about that as well. They contacted me to help them find, uh, handpick a few fans from all different backgrounds, and it, it should be a very exciting piece. And, and the fact that people are talking about this nationally is great. It's not just a few fans that, that remember baseball in the city, and it's not just some fans in Toronto that used to live in Montreal going to a Blue Jay game last year. It, it has some momentum. It has some legs, and now it's a question of all the behind-the-scenes sort of work by some of these, uh, uh, I guess, uh, well-to-do people uh, for that to come to fruition as well. ExposeNation.com is the website. If you have any questions, just email info at ExposeNation.com. Uh, don't forget to fill out the the, uh, the poll of your favorite Expos moments of all time, uh, which is on that site. Do you guys do that yet? Gallo, Campbell, did you did you fill out your all-time five favorite I, Expos I've, memories looked, on that site? I looked over them. You didn't do it. But I didn't do it, no. It's like not voting in an election. I mean, come on. You can't <laughs> complain about the results if you don't... Campbell, is it election day yet? Uh, no. <laughs> so I haven't made I haven't made my choice yet. I'm reminding you. Okay, thank I, you. I'd like to talk about this before seven. Okay. <laughs> all right. So you got about thirty minutes to to fill it out. Five favorite memories, all time expos. Expos Nation major fan rally on Sunday the thirtieth, uh, which follows up the gala evening the night before with the star attraction, the man who's being honored. Uh, at the gala, Felipe Alou, Marquise Grissom, Claude Raymond also being honored, uh, Will Cordero, Denny Boucher, Derek O'Quinn, who some fans might not be aware is actually in this business, and he'll be emceeing. Uh, more information at ExposNation.com. Way to go, Matthew. Thank you. Thank you.